Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So many of you ask for information about free devops labs. In today's video, I will share a list of free devops labs that are worth knowing. Some of these labs might be completely new to you. So just make sure you watch it till the end. Also, I'll share my honest feedback about these labs. Are they really worth spending time or not? Let's get started. So the first one is play with Docker classroom. Some of you might be aware of play with Docker. It is different. I will also talk about play with Docker in a while. So you can just consider this as advanced version of play with Docker. So what you get in play with Docker classroom is understanding of various Docker concepts and practicing those concepts on the lab environment. So just scroll down, you will find full list of individual labs. This is where you need to go. So you have various Docker concepts categorized as beginner, intermediate and advanced. For example, let's say I want to learn about multi-stage Docker builds. Just click on this towards the left. You will see a document and towards the right within no time, a lab environment is created for you. So theoretically, you can learn about multi-stage builds. Practically, you can learn them on the lab environment. And this lab environment has all the dependencies created for you. It's basically a Linux virtual machine. I believe Alpine and on top of that, Docker is already installed. Also, some of the dependencies that you need for lab are already installed. Now, all that I have to do is, first of all, read about multi-stage builds and wherever I see commands, wherever, you know, a practical understanding is required, just copy that command and execute on the right. One good thing about these labs, they are not controlled labs. That means, Although you have a document to your left, you can run commands that are out of the context of this document as well. For example, I'm watching Abhishek's videos or let's say I'm watching Docker Zero to Hero on Abhishek's channel. I can pick up one of the topic and let's assume Abhishek explained about Docker pull command. So Docker pull, hello world. So when I execute this, it actually pulls the hello world command, which is out of the context of this document. So that is what I mean by not control lab environment. I think many of the lab environments do support it, but some of the lab environments are controlled. Okay. Nevertheless, so this way you can read about a lot of Docker concepts and learn those concepts practically to the right. However, one caveat, these documents are not continuously updated. So, in case you run into an issue or in case you run into a failure, please expect that because they are not being updated every day. So this is about play with Docker classroom. As I told you, there is also something called play with Docker. The difference between play with Docker and play with Docker classroom. Here you have tutorials. You can follow the tutorials. However, play with Docker, when you click on start, it just set up a lab environment for you. For the first time, you need to sign up and then click on add new instance. You get this virtual machine for four hours. So this virtual machine is yours for the next four hours. Whatever you would like to practice, as I told you, you can go to Abhishek's Docker Zero to Hero YouTube uh, playlist. And while watching the playlist, you can start executing the commands here. Maybe you want to know what is Docker commit. You can practice that on this virtual machine, or maybe you want to know what exactly is Docker bridge networking. Use this virtual machine and practice on the VM that is set up for you. So this is about play with Docker. So we saw two lab environments, play with Docker and play with Docker classroom. Both of them are related to Docker. However, there is nothing stopping you 
if you want to learn Linux here, you can also learn Linux, right? For example, you can create a directory. Let me increase the font size. So I can just do mkdir test. And, you know, I can use cd command to go to the test. I can create files. For the next four hours, I can also learn Linux on play with Docker. Okay, this is just additional information. Now let's go to the next lab environment, which is play with Kubernetes classroom. So play with Kubernetes classroom is exactly like play with Docker classroom. Again, you also have something called play with Kubernetes. However, you know, it's worth just talking about play with Kubernetes classroom. Only difference is that here you have a lot of tutorials, but in play with Kubernetes classroom, you have very few tutorials. But it is worth it because it creates a Kubernetes cluster for you. Or I can say it, spin, it spins up virtual machines, multiple virtual machines for you. By following the document, you can actually set up Kubernetes cluster on these virtual machines. For example, all the configuration related to kubeadm is set up. I can just copy this command and execute the kubeadm command to the right. And it also explains you what is the output that you can expect. Perfect. So similarly, it tells you how to join the nodes. You can just run the kubeadm join command and join the nodes. So this is almost 30 minutes tutorial where you can learn about basic Kubernetes or basic kubectl commands, basic concepts of Kubernetes. It doesn't have extensive resources. It, ha it has limited document or limited tutorials which you can practice. But you get a free Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so this is about play with Kubernetes classroom. Then you have killer coda. So killer coda has extensive labs. So they are not restricted to Docker, Kubernetes, but they also have labs related to Git, Linux, Argo, most of the things in the CNCF space. I think the background behind developing Killer Coda Labs is to provide lab environments for practicing concepts of certifications. That's why I see most of the lab environments are related to the certifications. Nevertheless, it's good because you have a lot of things in the cloud native space, which you can come to Killer Coda and practice. Just to show you, let's say I want to learn about Linux. So I'll just click on Linux and they have various Linux concepts. Let's say I want to learn about the top command. So a lab environment is set up with multiple processes that are running. And now I can use top and figure out, okay, in real world, when there are multiple processes running, how can I use the top command, right? Abhishek, what is the difference? Like I can use any lab environment, right? For Linux, probably I can also learn it from here. But the thing is, especially for this particular concept, when you are looking for top command, the lab environment that they have has multiple processes running on the virtual machine that is created for you. So they are just trying to simulate near real time environment. So spend time if you want to learn basics of Linux or uh, learn fundamentals of Git. And you know, you can uh, understand those concepts using labs. Finally, the last one that we have, I think many of you are familiar about it, which is code cloud. So code cloud also have offers lab environments, just like killer coda, both code cloud and killer coda are not restricted to a particular thing. Just like play with Docker classroom is restricted to Docker, but free, co free code cloud labs and free killer coda labs, they have various DevOps concepts that are covered. I can learn Terraform through free Terraform labs or Kubernetes, DevOps, Linux, multiple concepts. So these are five popular lab environments. You have other things as well. I try to evaluate them, but these are the ones that I found interesting in the free DevOps lab space. 
now it's time to feedback to be honest first of all we should appreciate these companies for offering free devops labs because unlike traditional development labs or data structures and algorithm labs devops labs need more computing power for example if you take kubernetes labs that we saw so you either need multiple virtual environments then tie them together to make a cluster or you spin up a virtual environment with more resources and then you use docker in docker or advanced configuration to set up that kubernetes cluster so they are doing great job in offering these free labs but coming to the point these labs especially the free labs are more oriented towards beginner level so if you are a beginner yeah to get confidence or you know sometimes when you don't have the setup with you so you can just use these labs practice most of these scenarios are definitely basic if you want to clear interviews you need to practice advanced scenarios probably follow the videos do some projects set up things on your machine because those are the things will be expected from you as a devops engineer so when you join a company or during your interview scenario based questions will be asked they will be asking you about issues that you faced how did you overcome the issues which you cannot explain if you only practice things through the labs so for beginner level yes they are good but for intermediate and advanced level you need to set up things at your end if your personal machine does not support that configuration you can spin up a cloud instance and on the cloud instance you can try the things so i hope you got the required information thank you so much for watching today's video if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section also you can find all these links in the description see you all take care